Hi everyone. So yesterday I met one of the parents of a child with fragile X and these were her words to me. I thought I will have to teach my child about the world but it turns out that I have to teach the world about my child. Fragile X syndrome is a condition that merits more awareness and we at the Purple Gene Clinic are happy to dedicate today's session to this cause. We are aware that fragile X is caused due to an error on an important gene located on the X chromosome. This is the commonest genetic cause of autism. It is also the most common inherited cause of intellectual disability. Now, if either of the parents is detected to be a carrier for fragile X syndrome, then there is a risk that their future baby could also develop symptoms of fragile X. In today's session, we'll try and understand if we can determine the affection status of a baby for fragile X while it is still in the womb. In order to do this, I need to obtain the DNA of this baby that's developing in the womb. And this can be done by one of the two options. The first option is that of Corion Willis sampling. This is done at around 11 to 13 weeks of pregnancy. And the second option is that of amniocentesis. This is done somewhere around the 16th to the 17th week of pregnancy. Through either of these invasive procedures, once we have the baby's DNA, this DNA is then subjected to targeted tests for fragile X. And if the baby turns out to be affected based on the results, the parents may take one of the decisions. Either they may opt to continue the pregnancy or they may opt to terminate the child, of course, based on their personal beliefs as well as the laws of the country in which they live in. I want to add a word of caution over here. Interpretation of these prenatal genetic tests which are conducted on the baby while it is still in the womb is not very straightforward. Firstly, the reason is because fragile X is innately a very variable disorder. For the same genetic error, there can be variable manifestations of the disease within members of the same family. Secondly, interpretation of these results depend on various factors like the size of the genetic error within the baby, the sex of the baby, to name a few. Uh, ideally, this process of trying to understand the risk of having a baby with fragile X is best initiated prior to pregnancy. And throughout your journey, uh, especially during the ordering of the test and interpretation of these results, is best if it is done in liaison along with a genetic expert. I hope you find today's session helpful. Thank you so much. If you like this video, you can subscribe to the Purple Gene Clinic.